Lena, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving you 10 Netflix recommendations. But before I get started, I just have a couple things I have to say. First, as of right now, when I'm posting this video, all of the TV shows and movies that I'm recommending are on the Canadian Netflix. I'm guessing that they should also be on the US Netflix because there's a wider selection there. But if for some reason you're not able to find the TV shows or movies that I'm suggesting on your Netflix, I'm sorry, they're available on my Netflix now, so that's why I'm including them in this list. Second thing is, obviously these are not all of the things that I would recommend from Netflix. There are so many good things on it. So if you wanna see a part two or part three to this video, just let me know in the comments down below because there's definitely more things that I can recommend to you. And the third thing is, if you've already seen these TV shows and movies and you didn't like them, then that's totally cool. That's your opinion. We all have our own little enjoyment and likes and whatever but just be respectful about it in the comments and yeah like all the youtubers say let's go ahead and get right into it the first show that I'm recommending is called Black Mirror and full disclosure I haven't seen all of the episodes yet but I've seen a fair amount of them to be able to recommend it to you and basically the show is set in the future or alternative present kind of thing and it explores how technology can have some really freaking weird, creepy kind of consequences. It has a very dark tone to the show and some of the episodes might leave you feeling a little bit icky and gross and not wanting to go on your technology for a little bit or wanting to watch an episode of Friends right after. For me, if you've seen the show, that was after the episode called Be Right Back. I was just, it, it was just a little icky. and I don't know, I didn't really love it. But some of the really good episodes that I liked are White Bear and The Entire History of You. And my absolute favorite is Hang the DJ probably because it's not as dark as all the other ones, but I don't know, it's a good show. And what's good about it also is that it's just standalone episodes, so you don't have to watch them in any particular order. You can just go ahead and pick one that sounds interesting to you. Um, yeah, let's move on to the next thing. The second thing that I'm recommending is actually a movie and it's called The Edge of Seventeen and it's with Haley Steinfeld and Woody Harrelson and it's about this teen girl Nadine, played by Haley Steinfeld, who is this really awkward kind of teen and her best friend starts dating her older popular brother and so she starts to feel lonely and it's just her growing up through high school and finding people that matter. But the chemistry that she has with Woody Harrelson and her and the lines are just really comedic. It's a combination of comedy with some really nice heartfelt moments, just a really great coming of age story that I think that you should watch. The third show that I'm recommending is called Brooklyn Nine-Nine and it's a comedy show and it's only about 20 minute episodes. So it's really great if you just want something quick and easy to watch. And it's about this detective, Jake Peralta, who is pretty immature, but really funny, uh, who clashes with a new captain that comes into the precinct and he is black and gay. So he has a lot to prove to the NYPD, you know, just because pre judice freaking sucks. And there's a lot of different characters with their own quirks and it's fun seeing them kind of banter and clash with one another and see what happens throughout their shenanigans through every single episode. It's a nice easy watch. So I definitely do recommend it if you're looking for something like that. I will say it took me a few episodes to get into it. So if you don't like it at first, just stick with it for a few episodes and then I think that you will probably end up liking it. The fourth thing that I'm recommending is called Stranger Things. And I know that you've probably heard about this. And if you haven't heard about it, I don't even know how, but now you've heard about it. So I think that you should definitely watch it. I've been talking about Stranger Things for a while, like before it even got hype, I think. I first had it on my channel during my get to know me tag and then I put it on my Halloween video. I also recommended it then and it's about this boy Will who goes missing and his friends meet up with this odd weird kind of girl who turns out she has superpowers and this whole thing sends them on this trail of finding out government secrets and supernatural forces and an alternative dimension and it's really cool seeing all their adventures go by and the plot line is fantastic and the sets are freaking great and the acting is so amazing the cast is super talented i just think that you should definitely go watch it i love the show and if you want to talk about it in the comments down below feel free to do that because i love talking about it and let's move on to the next thing The next show that I'm recommending is called Scream Queens and it's a comedy but also a horror and a mystery and a drama and 
all of these genres mixed into one and it's by the creators of American Horror Story and Glee but it's not a musical and the story revolves around this university and these sorority girls that are being terrorized by a serial killer on campus and it's a satirical take on sororities it's actually really funny obviously don't take things too seriously and there's this dean that makes the sorority girls open up their sorority to any girl that wants to join and obviously these bitchy girls who are very exclusive and don't want to let anyone in have to let them in and it's just this huge deal add a serial killer into the mix and things get really funny and the cast is really cool they have people like Leah Michelle and Emma Roberts and Abigail Breslin Kiki Palmer uh, Nick Jonas is in season one Jamie Lee Curtis season two has Taylor Lautner just a really great show to watch there's only two seasons so it's not like you have to worry about this like never-ending seasons kind of show The next thing that I'm recommending is a movie and it's called Looper and it's with Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Emily Blunt and Bruce Willis and it's kind of hard to explain because the concept is fairly complex and hard for me to articulate but it's when the mob wants to get someone killed they send them back into the past to be killed by a gunman who's in the past but eventually that gunman grows old so they send his old self to be killed by the younger self to finish the loop. I I don't think that explanation made a whole lot of sense, but I promise you if you watch it, it will make sense. The concept is super unique and cool and there's a lot of twists and turns in the movie and it's just, it's just a really interesting watch. The seventh thing that I'm recommending is a movie called Lady Bird and you've probably already heard about it because it was nominated for five Oscars and it won a couple of Golden Globes, but it came on Netflix a few weeks ago. So if you haven't had the chance to see it yet, now is a good time to do it. And it's this coming of age story about this girl called Lady Bird or that's what she calls herself. It's a name given to her by her. Is that your given name? Yeah. Why is it in quotes? I gave it to myself. It's given to me by me. And it's about her senior year of high school in this Catholic high school in Sacramento, California, and all of the events that happened throughout that year. But it's also about her relationship with her mother, who is also a very strong-willed person, so there's a lot of clashing, and it's just a turbulent kind of relationship, and they're not from the most well-off sort of family, so it also explores that, and where she's gonna go to college, and all of these coming-of-age sort of things. It also has Timothy Chalamet in it, and Saoirse Ronan, and Lucas Hedges, so you know, it's just bound to be a good one. Watch. If you haven't had the chance to see it, I definitely do recommend it. The next thing that I'm recommending is a TV show called The Vampire Diaries and honestly I started watching this show back when I was 16 or so and I stopped watching it. I can't remember what season but I picked it up again this past year and I ended up really liking it. I like the show's finale which is kind of rare when there's so many seasons to a TV show for me to like the ending so that definitely says something. I can't quite remember the first couple of seasons but I can guarantee you my 16 year old self love them. It's about these two brothers that come into this little town called Mystic Falls and they kind of both want the same girl and she kind of has to pick but the relationships kind of shift throughout the season and there's vampires and werewolves and witches and all these supernatural things that come into play and most of the episodes end with a really cool cliffhanger which is really great for binge watching. The next thing I'm recommending is a TV show called How I Met Your Mother and it has nine seasons which is quite a bit but maybe you're looking for something to commit to. Each episode is around 20 to 30 minutes long and it's about this father telling his kids how he met their mother. So we see him go through life through a whole bunch of years with his four best friends up until when he meets the mom and I don't know about you guys if you've seen the show I didn't really love the finale so just be prepared that the finale might be a little bit disappointing but the moments leading up to it are really great it's funny and it has some light-hearted kind of heartfelt moments in it as well it's And the last thing I'm recommending to you is a TV show called The Fosters. It's about a biracial lesbian couple who has one biological kid from one of the girls' previous marriage, two adoptive kids, and then they start fostering two new kids and things kind of start happening from there. It deals with a lot of social issues, LGBTQ issues, high school relationship, 
all that stuff. It really does play with your heartstrings. I know I cried for a whole bunch of episodes and it talks about the whole topic of family is more than just blood and more than that makes family and it's just it's a really great show to watch. I could definitely talk about each of these recommendations for much longer. So if you wanna share your opinions with me, let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to tag it as a spoiler. And also if you want a part two of this, let me know in the comments down below as well. And hit the like button and subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you don't miss another one of my videos, please. And I will catch you in my next one.